beautifully golden, crisp chicken, and then a creamy garlic and mushroom sauce with a hint of coconut and a couple of other little surprises. This is my creamy garlic and mushroom chicken. Let's get going on the chicken part first of all. I have a little trick here that I'm gonna be doing to get the flavor started. So I've got some chicken thighs, and I love boneless chicken thighs with the skin on because all of that stuff makes really crispy, lovely, golden and juicy tender chicken. But feel free to use chicken breast or even skinless pieces as well. Lots of different options. The thing that we're gonna do here though is make a little chicken salt. So I'm gonna start off with a chicken stock cube and then add a really decent amount of salt. And you want to get your hands in here and really crumble up that chicken stock cubes so that we've got ourselves some chicken salt. And now I just want to sprinkle that all over your chicken thighs. Now a little bit of pepper as well. So just that little extra step with the chicken salt is gonna give us a more chickeny, more amazing dish. Uh, and the first thing I'm gonna do is get that chicken frying in the pan. So just add a little bit of oil. Now add in your chicken. Now you wanna let this chicken do its thing and get some nice color on that skin side because what we're doing here is we're layering, we're starting to layer the flavors for our beautiful creamy, sauce at the end uh, and all of that good chicken color that is pure flavor my friends so a few minutes here so I'm starting to smell some really good chickeny flavors here let me just have a check and wow look at that color amazing that's exactly what we want golden delicious now flip all of these over and then give them another few minutes on that second side All right, so at this point, I've got chicken that's mostly cooked through. It's gonna keep cooking in the sauce a bit later on. Uh, so I'm gonna take these out. Now, I've got quite a lot of chicken fat in the bottom of that pan. I'm gonna take some of it out. I just want like a couple of tablespoons left. Now, don't even think about washing that pan. That is all good stuff in there, guys. We're gonna use that a little later on. But first off, we wanna get prepared with some of our other ingredients. So, what I need here are some mushrooms. So I'm using Swiss browns, but you could use button mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms. The point is though that I wanna keep them nice and chunky. They tend to shrink down in the pan when they cook, uh, and I wanna have like a nice chunky mushroom at the end. And now, of course, I also need some garlic because we are making a creamy, garlicky mushroom sauce. So a fair amount of garlic here. And that's pretty much it for prep time, which I love when it's, you know, at the end of the day and you want to get something on the dinner table really quickly. We're just going to go in now with some butter into that same pan. Now get those mushrooms in there. And just a little pinch of salt here too to get those mushrooms really tasty. And then what I like to do is just let those mushrooms sit in that nice buttery sauce there just for a few minutes so I can get a nice bit of colour on there. If I start moving them around too much at the beginning, they don't sort of develop the colour that I want. I just give them a little bit of a toss and again let them sit and get some nice colour on them. And now that I've got that lovely sort of burnished edge on those mushrooms, now it's time to add in the garlic. I like to do it after the mushrooms because I don't want the garlic to burn while they're getting some nice colour. So that goes in and I want some thyme leaves as well. I'm just going to kind of break those leaves in there. Oh, tossing that garlic through with the thyme, you're getting the most amazing smell right now. Oh, so beautiful. All right. Time to go in with my coconut cream. Um, and you know what I love about having coconut cream for this one is I've often like not got fresh cream in the fridge or I've forgotten to buy it, but this guy stays in your pantry, so you've always got it. All right, now just stir that through. Oh, something about a creamy sauce bubbling away on the stovetop, which is so comforting. Oh, love that. Okay, gonna get my chicken back in here now. 
And then you just want to give that about 10 minutes. One for the chicken to fully cook through and two so that that sauce kind of becomes all chickeny and luscious and delish. Now one final thing I want to do here is some lemon zest. One more little, you know, small ingredient to add that adds a huge amount of flavour and really makes everything pop. So you just want to grate that on top. And then finally, like a little optional extra here, but I'm going to just add some finely sliced chives. And that's it guys, let's get this out onto a plate. And then that sauce goes on top. So there you go my friends, this one is one of those creamy chicken dinners that everyone will love, I promise. But let's get in there and have a look and I will tell you exactly how it's supposed to taste. Mm. Just the smell of that garlic oh, and the thyme. Oh, I love how creamy that is, it is so beautifully comforting and then you've got that really big hit of garlic and then you know just those little pops of the lemon really makes such a huge difference and because we use that chicken salt everything just has loads of flavor and I mean loads mm. so good delicious and it's really great having that like coconut edge to the flavor as well instead of just plain cream mm. totally yummy